Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Jennifer here and I am coming to you today to share my pretty mess. So as you guys can see, I have an overload of gingerbread men, cookies, gingerbread houses. Um, yeah, so girls, boys, ju just gingerbread everywhere. So, um, I wanted to come and share this because this will be going out. This is not a swap. This is a rack that I put together and this will be going out, um, probably, f f um, if not Friday, definitely by Monday. And I know this is going out late for Christmas, but um, I am a slow crafter right now. Um, and I just, for some reason, um, started crafting with this gingerbread and just fell in love and just kept going and going um, to send this out to somebody. I'm not going to say who this is going to, just is going to one of my subscribers. So be on the lookout so yeah so the first thing i'm gonna share are these gingerbread and i was going to share the different dies um i shared this die in a haul it's a sizzix die that i got from hobby lobby but um these are just all the gingerbread cookies in the different shapes that i cut out and put together and then um i just stuck some little um puffy stickers on the bag there. So please bear with me and bear with everything being on my table, but it, it, it's a lot. Um, and then I made two gingerbread house shakers, and this is a die that I shared from KS Crafts. And I just really like the way those came out. So I did that. And then this is a little box I filled with with um with some candies and I used the what is this paper called um craft paper um that I picked up it was a whole pack of craft paper that I picked up from Tuesday morning uh a while ago I haven't seen this color paper I'm gonna have to be on the lookout and then I just used pink and added some stickers. I did put the stickers on a um, 110 pound um, white cardstock and then fussy cut them out. And then in, in the inside are these little scallop edge individual boxes. And so then the candy is milk chocolate dove that I um, picked up from the store. And so that kind of hard. It's a tight fit. And this file I did get from um, my scrap chick when they had their, I'm just going to put that aside. When they had their dollar sale, I picked up a few, um, a few of their um, SVG uh, files. So sorry about that. And um, I just shared this in a haul from the Dollar Tree yesterday. And I did decide to um, go ahead and, and put something in it. I did have um, another gift that I'm giving. And I'm just going to push this aside so you guys can see. This is a pair of socks that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Not Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry, from Joann's. So I got those from Joann's. And um, glad I found use for the for the box. So that's that. And then I... Um, a little pom-pom fell there. And then there is a... What did I put in here? I just clipped on the bag topper. So the bag topper um, is a die that I haven't had in my stash for a while. I believe it came from In Love Art Shop. And then I just used a white doily. 
and then um, this was a sticker from a sticker pack that I got from Hobby Lobby and the flowers are the um, flowers from Hobby Lobby as well and there's another pom-pom and the stickers I don't remember where this the puffy stickers came from but I've had them in my stash for a long time and then this is just one of those tiny paper clip um, not paper clip clothes pins and that's how I clipped it on but in the bag you know what I don't remember what I put in here uh, oh, it's just, um, <laughs> I thought this was really cute. If you guys can see, I got this from Michael's last year on their, um, when they had 50% off, I picked this up, thought it was really cute. So I'm gifting that and, um, let's see what else. I'll just put that right there. I'll put everything back. And then in here, I wish I would have left it out and shared it afterwards, but um, this is an F S one of the SVG files I purchased from um, my scrap chick. It is a, um, what do you call it? What are these? Um, bath bombs. It's a bath bomb holder. So it's really cute. And so in here, I just included some, this is a, a bigger bath bomb. And then I gifted two smaller ones. And then back here are some, um, are they both face masks? I believe they're both face masks. And so, yeah. And then um, it's a really cute file. I'm sorry I wrapped it all up, but it's really cute. And I just tied it with this, um, pink and red ribbon that I picked up from Michael's and then there's um the bow that's that green bow that's up there on the top I cut out from um a die that I picked up from um Lisa who is my um happy crafter and she has a shop on Instagram um happy crafter shop so yeah I picked up a a set of bow dies that I, I shared in a haul before and then I made a sequence mix and in the sequence mix I added some some sprinkles in there so the, the little trees the pink and green and white and I believe there's red in there as well are sprinkles and then there's the little balls in there are sprinkles too and then the rest are sequins so I have pink and green two two color greens and then i have some if you guys can see some red candy canes in there as well um there you go the candy canes i picked up from michael's and then i just put a sticker that says ho 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 and they're, they're two separate sticker, stickers but they came from the same pack that i picked up from hobby lobby last year and then i just added um a piece of ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby maybe like three years ago. It's been in my stash for a while. And then this is just the um, Chanel yarn that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. And then some eyelash trim that I've had in my stash for a while too. I don't remember where I got it from. But yeah, so I just had a lot of fun. I know I shared yesterday that I had a lot of fun um, putting this rack together. Um, I just kept finding gingerbread stuff and just decided to go with it. And I just really, really enjoyed it. So I will be... Um, I still have a lot of gingerbread stuff, so I will probably be doing gingerbread next year. So then... Um, this is a piece of vinyl that I just closed together with some red line tape. And then I sealed this. I, you guys probably really can't see, but I sealed it with a, um, a paper. Um, what do you, I don't know what they're called. It's a sealer. It's like a, um, you know what? Let me get it for you guys really quick. Hold on. Sorry about that. I should have thought about bringing it. 
But yeah, I, I don't know what it's called. A crimper, maybe? But um, I picked it up from Amazon, and I believe I shared this um, quite some time ago. I wind up picking up two of these, and I gifted one to um, to one of my subscribers who made a comment on um, the video that they would would have liked one too. So I picked one up and, and gifted to them. And so yeah, so I used that to to close that off. And I got this idea from Maria, who scrapbook scrapbook nut. Um, she's got a number twenty. I know it's two something. Um, but I will have her and um, linked in the description box if you guys are interested in going over and checking her out. She's a wonderful crafter. Um, <clears throat> but she sent me something where she had did this and I just fell in love with the idea and that's what made me get the crimper. So yeah, so in here I just have some red and green beads that I picked up from Michael's. I have some um, gingerbread buttons and candies that I got from Hobby Lobby and then this little charm right here, this gingerbread charm, gingerbread uh, men I got from Lisa from the Happy Crafter Shop and then um, these little bells came from a bead kit from Michael's as well. And then this um, cabochon piece is from Lisa the Happy Crafter as well. So yeah, so I'm gifting those. I was going to make a dangle, but my, um, my hands are not working that great to sit and try to do wire, um, wire wrap the beads and put them all. My, my fingers are not working right now. <clears throat> so then <clears throat> in here, I gifted some, some of the, the bows that I got from Lisa. I cut all them out. <clears throat> Excuse me if my voice is going. Cut them all out and I did, um, I believe two of each color. So I'm gifting her those. And then I'm gifting some dies, and I still have to put in the little white pieces. I just gotta find a little bag to um, get them in. And um, I'm gifting those. And I am actually working on some um, two gingerbread shakers that I'm gonna include that is not gonna be seen in this video. But yeah, we'll be including that as well. And then um, I have this. It was a little pink um, gift bag that I had purchased from Tuesday morning. And then I just added this, um, added this, what do you call it? Snowflake trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. These um, felt stickers I got from Hobby Lobby as well. These gems I added to the trim but um, I don't remember where I got them. I don't know if they were from Hobby Lobby because they've been in my stash for a long time. And then this Merry Christmas is a die that I got from Lisa as well. And I cut it out on foam. So really like the way that came out. And then on in the back, I included a three by three note card. And then this is a little tag. And these stickers are stickers that I've had in my stash. I'm trying to use them up. And... Um, and then the Happy Holidays came from a, a sticker pack from um, from the Hobby Lobby. So, yeah, so I'm um, including that. And then over here, I found this ornament at Walmart. So I thought that would be a cute that would be a cute um, gift to send as well. So um, that's going in there. And then in here is um, just some goodies, some candy. I have their peppermint um, peppermint balls and then some um, hot chocolate with some milk chocolate melts in there. So that's in there. And then in here... I made another box and this is so, so cute. I love this and love the way it came out. Just very simple, but yet it it's just really cute. 
So it's a box, and this is another file that I picked up from um, my scrap chick as well. And then um, this bow is just a bow that um, I either got from Lisa, the Happy Crafter Shop, or um, from either Amazon or AliExpress. I really don't remember where that one came from. But, um, so yeah, on this, I just inked up the ed edges to make it, um, pop out more. And then I used, um, some chalk to make the, um, to put on the cheeks there. And, um, not very good at free drawing, so the, <laughs> the mouth, um, is a little cricket. So in here, I created some bows, some gingerbread bows, and this is a die that came from came from KS Crafts. So I made four of these, two in the tan, and one I put the red flower in the center, the cluster of red flowers in there, and then the um, and then the um, other two I put the um, gingerbread dangle on it. So I really like the way those came out. And then I also made some, sorry, I kind of got out of frame, some clothespins. And I saw um, Buzzing with a V. She had made some that um, came out really cute. Um, but these are mine. And I have these um, white glitter clothespins that I picked up from maybe, maybe, you know what? I'm not sure. Not sure where they came from, but I've had them in my stash for a while. And then this was actually a, a foam sticker. And, um, and then this is a little die that I had in my stash with a whole bunch of Christmas little, a bunch of, um, Christmas dies. They're tiny. I have a, the whole bunch of them that I believe I got, got from Amazon. Um, and then I just added some white diamond dots onto there. And then in the center of the bow, I put a pink one. And then this bow came from the bow set from um, that I got from Lisa. So, and then I just used, sorry for being out of focus, and then diamond dots for the eyes. And then I just used a gel pen, a white gel pen to try and outline. It didn't work out as great as I thought it was going to, but I still like the way it came out. So I have this one and um, the other one is a red bow. It's the only difference. They're both the same. So that is in there. And um, I believe that is it. That um, I believe I shared everything. So yeah. I did and um so yeah I just want to say thank you everybody for being here and again be looking out because I'm not saying who this is going out to and hopefully I can get it out in the mail on Friday but if not Friday um definitely Monday definitely Monday so yeah so until next time I just hope everybody stays healthy and safe and may God bless. Bye-bye.